Hello folks and welcome to the game reviews of GMC Jam 31. This will be video number three where we're gonna take a look at five more games. So this is Phage by Frosty Cat. The game has this cool little menu with the virus crawling around and the game is basically a board game where you have a board 8x8 eight eight, and you are a type of virus, the purple virus, while the computer AI is the yellow virus and you have these different tiles on the board. You have food tiles, you have poison tiles and you have safe squares. You play on rounds and the objective is to get as much points as you can so if you land on the green tiles, the food squares, you get four points. If you land on the black square, you get one point. On the blue square, you get no points. And on the red square, you get minus four points. So this is how it's going to be counted at the end of each round. So each turn, you can either spawn a new phage virus, adjacent to any of your own phages, or you can use one of the phages you already have and jump to another tile. And whenever you finish your move, if you have any touching phage, enemy phages on your north, west, south and east sides, they will change over to your side. So you're actually converting them to your own virus. So this is basically the game and you have to play against the AI to beat it. The AI is very, very intelligent, so it's very hard to beat it. But I found that this game is all about adaptation. It's a cool board game. It can evolve into a very nice game. I found that the art is a little bit simple. I know that most of the time has been spent on the AI, I guess. The music and sound effects are good. And overall, this is a very solid entry for working with the adaptation theme. Okay, so guys, I recommend you guys out to go and play Phage and try to beat the AI. This is Royal Rumble by Misu and Yao. The game is a 3D platformer where you're this little wall that rolls around and you have to reach the end of the level. I can see that you have some feelings back to the 3D era of maybe Mario 3D or something like that. You have some nice background, the sprites are good also. The ball rolls very well and you have to move around your screen with your mouse to have a different view and then you move around the ball with your keys. For the game movement, I would like to see a little bit of inertia in the ball because when you stop moving with your keys, you stop moving the ball completely. And also the game has some different obstacles that you have to go through, like holes, like bikes coming out of the platforms and it keeps your death count also so you can see how many times you tried to beat the game and you couldn't do it, which was very nice. It has some background music and sound effects that are very nice. I think the death sounds a little bit too loud but that's just for my own taste. It's very hard to play the game and to reach the end of the game. I can tell you that I didn't record everything. I couldn't reach the end of the game, but I did play some more than what I'm showing you guys right here. I think it was a nice entry. I really liked it. I would change just a little, a little things. Like I said, the game mechanic where you have the ball inertia to keep rolling a little bit. Also, on some levels, I had a lot of difficulty trying to figure out the height difference between platforms because the sprites are the same and the lighting didn't help that much in that case. So maybe having different sprites or better lighting system would help. Okay, if you guys want to go and try to play it, Royal Rumble Against All Odds by Misu and Yao, please go ahead. This is Lock and Key by Relic. In this game, you're controlling the body of a human, I guess, and you have to control all the reactions that happen through the alimentary canal. You're actually helping it happen, so what you have to do, you have to match the enzymes to these little pieces that we have on the screen, and you have to lock it. So you have to adapt yourself to the pieces that is, that is coming, and you have to rotate yourself in order to match it. As well as a matching game, you have to adjust your pH and your temperature to be within the enzymatic range and to perform the chemical reaction of breaking down this food that the player is swallowing. You can play, play either in the mouth or the stomach or the small intestines. Also, the game has a leaderboard, online leaderboard, so you can know how other players did while playing this game, which was a very nice addition to this game. The gameplay and the game mechanics are very nice very creative for the themes of the gem 
you can see on the background of the mouth that you have the teeth you have some very very good background music sound effects are also very nice in general it was a very solid entry for the gem with a very innovative idea i found it a little hard to match up the pieces i just hope my mouth is doing a better job than i could do in the game also I liked how you have to switch your pH and your temperature, I just didn't like how it was done in the game that you have these four spots lying around that you have to go through them to switch it. Maybe you had something more dynamic to switch the temperature and the pH would be better. But in general, very very solid entry. Graphics are good, very cute, you have a lot of twinning effects, you have some particle effects, you have music, you have sound effects, and you have this game that you have to beat with online score very complete entry. So congratulations Relic and everyone that liked it please go ahead and play it because I really recommend you doing so. This is Huec OS HD Early Access by Alice and Mercenaries. In this game you're this little robot that moves around and you have to install modules like jumping, warping, shifting, merging, contact and repair and you have a certain amount of memory. And the idea behind the game is that you have to adapt all these modules to the memory you have. And with this, you have to make sure that you have enough modules on and its powers in order to be able to move the pieces around. The game itself is just a tech demo. It hasn't been finished. I understand that Alice has produced a new version post gem, which actually has some playable content in it. But for now, you're able to move around, you're able to switch around your models, and you're also able to move around these small green pieces that we have on the screen, and test mostly all the effects, all the movement, how it's done. And it's very nice, you can warp around, you can jump holes, you can move these small green pieces. I just hoped that by the time of the end of the gem, the game was a little bit more finished, had some level designs that a player could play with and had an end point. But for a tech demo, I really liked it. If you guys want to try it out, please go ahead and check it out. If you want to try the better version of the game, please check the post gem version. So this is Real Fruit Slots by Oyakiv. The game is pretty simple. It's a mix between a jackpot betting game where you bet your life so you can bet 0, 1 or 2 or 3 and you spin the jackpot and get fruits back and then you have to avoid those fruits to avoid losing health so they're gonna explode each fruit has a different type of explosion so you can see that maybe the cherries have big explosion the grapes have explode into smaller pieces and those pieces explode again pineapples have huge explosions so this is basically the game it's very simple graphic is very simple you have some sound effects in the background the game concept is that you're betting your life and you're trying to win without losing you have 50 points of life so without losing your full life controls are simple the game is in itself is pretty simple i believe it lacked a little bit of depth so you can play it but there's not much else that you can do and it's not very captive so you actually play just a few minutes and then there's not much else that you need to do but it was a different concept of course different from most of the things that we see you got some betting you get some avoiding explosion games so good concept and if you guys want to try and check it out please do so so if you want to see more content like this please subscribe to my channel and if you want to be notified when i have new videos please click on the bell button and if you like the video, click on the like button also. If you have any comments, suggestions for the next videos, please leave them on the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next.